Recently, I was in in Vienna, in the capital city of uh, in the capital of uh, Austria, and I had uh, uh, an opportunity to see uh, uh, to visit the the bookshops, and which is one of my favorite things when I'm in when I'm abroad, and uh, I this this uh, this time I I did the same, and. Um, uh, because of my profession, I am always mostly interested uh, uh, in uh, political in the book about political science and history. And this time it was uh, it was the same, of course. And and I was seeing that there are the huge there are huge amounts of of books against this uh, right wing populism. Uh, how it's called usually and um, and the, the funny thing is that they are all protesting against this right-wing populism and they all dated mostly from the time of Berlusconi. Berlusconi was the first right-wing politician who was very very much right-wing and who was using his own television uh, and his own media uh, uh, company to protect himself and his visions from the political visions from the uh, attacks from the uh, liberal left or left or how you, you, you call it. Of course the, uh, the, uh, the television company of Berlusconi uh, which was called Panorama uh, was also lying to the Italians um, maybe even as much as the uh, uh, left-wing uh, elites were lying to the Ital Italians, but the, only the um, the direction was, uh, um, of course, op opposed uh, with the different direction, <coughs> but opposite direction uh, to the opposite direction. But um, but uh, what's really funny is is that those elites they don't even know those elites the the, the the members of those elites who write all those books. And this books is really this mumbling about the same, but they don't even know in in name of what they are protesting against this right wing populism. They are they don't even know if they are uh, if they are uh, representing. I mean, they, them they are representing, uh, and they are protesting in name of liberalism or maybe in name of social democratic uh, values or something like this and because sometimes they they tend to think that this right-wing populism came from nationalistic views and sometimes they they tend to think that they uh, they were coming from the uh, ultra liberal uh, uh, ultra liberal ultra individual individualism so they don't even know what they are representing and I think that this is the uh, this is the signal that they are not defending any ideological views they are only fear they only fear th this uh, contemporary situation in which they have no more uh, uh, as big a, an influence over the uh, vast majority uh, over the over the broad uh, electorate as they had before so uh, this is really the funny thing to to watch